This timeline of computer viruses and worms presents a chronological timeline of noteworthy computer viruses, computer worms, Trojan horses, similar malware, related research and events. Pre-1970 John von Neumann's article on the «theory of self-reproducing automata» is published. The article is based on lectures given by von Neumann at the University of Illinois about the «theory and organization of complicated automata» in 1949. Topic 1971 to 1979. Topic 1971. The Creeper System, an experimental self-replicating program, is written by Bob Thomas at BBN Technologies to test John von Neumann's theory. Creeper infected DEC PDP-10 computers running the TENEX operating system. Creeper gained access via the ARPANET and copied itself to the remote system where the message, I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can, was displayed. The Reaper program was later created to delete Creeper. Topic 1973 Fiction. In fiction, the 1973 Michael Crichton movie Westworld made an early mention of the concept of a computer virus, being a central plot theme that causes androids to run amok. Alan Oppenheimer's character summarizes the problem by stating that there's a clear pattern here which suggests an analogy to an infectious disease process, spreading from one less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 area to the next to which the replies are stated perhaps there are superficial similarities to disease and i must confess i find it difficult to believe in a disease of machinery Crichton's earlier work, the 1969 novel The Andromeda Strain and 1971 film were about an extraterrestrial biological virus-like disease that threatened the human race. Topic 1974. The rabbit or wobbit virus, more a fork bomb than a virus, is written. The rabbit virus makes multiple copies of itself on a single computer and was named rabbit for the speed at which it did so until it clogs the system, reducing system performance, before finally reaching a threshold and crashing the computer. Topic 1975 April, Animal is written by John Walker for the UNIVAC 1108. Animal asked a number of questions of the user in an attempt to guess the type of animal that the user was thinking of, while the related program Pervade would create a copy of itself and Animal in every directory to which the current user had access. It spread across the multi-user UNIVACs when users with overlapping permissions discovered the game, and to other computers when tapes were shared. The program was carefully written to avoid damage to existing file or directory structures, and not to copy itself if permissions did not exist or if damage could result. Its spread was therefore halted by an OS upgrade which changed the format of the file status tables that Pervade used for safe copying. Though non-malicious, Pervading Animal represents the first Trojan in the wild. The novel The Shockwave Rider by John Brunner is published, coining the word worm to describe a program that propagates itself through a computer network. Topic 1981 to 1989. Topic 1981. 
A program called Elk Cloner, written for Apple II systems, was created by high school student Richard Scronter, originally as a prank. The Apple II was particularly vulnerable due to the storage of its operating system on a floppy disk. Elk Cloner's design combined with public ignorance about what malware was and how to protect against it led to Elk Cloner being responsible for the first large-scale computer virus outbreak in history. Topic 1983 November the term virus is coined by Frederick Cohen in describing self-replicating computer programs in 1984 Cohen uses the phrase computer virus as suggested by his teacher Leonard Edelman to describe the operation of such programs in terms of infection he defines a virus as a program that can infect other programs by modifying them to include a possibly evolved copy of itself. Cohen demonstrates a virus-like program on a VAX 11750th system at Lehigh University. The program could install itself in, or infect, other system objects. Topic. 1984 August, Ken Thompson publishes his seminal paper, Reflections on Trusting Trust, in which he describes how he modified a C compiler so that when used to compile a specific version of the Unix operating system, it inserted a backdoor into the login command, and when used to compile itself, it inserted the backdoor insertion code, even if neither the backdoor nor the backdoor insertion code were present in the source code. Topic 1986. January, the Brain Boot Sector virus is released. Brain is considered the first IBM PC compatible virus, and the program responsible for the first IBM PC compatible virus epidemic. The virus is also known as Lahore, Pakistani, Pakistani Brain, and Pakistani Flu as it was created in Lahore, Pakistan by 19-year-old Pakistani programmer, Basit Farooq Alvi, and his brother, Amjad Farooq Alvi. December, Ralph Berger presented the Verdum model of programs at a meeting of the Underground Chaos Computer Club in Germany. The Verdum model represented the first programs that could replicate themselves via addition of their code to executable DOS files in COM format. 1987 Appearance of the Vienna virus, which was subsequently neutralized, the first time this had happened on the IBM platform. Appearance of Lehigh virus discovered at its namesake university, boot sector viruses such as Yale from US, Stone from New Zealand, Ping Pong from Italy, and appearance of first self-encrypting file virus, Cascade. Lehigh was stopped on campus before it spread to the wild, and has never been found elsewhere as a result. A subsequent infection of Cascade in the offices of IBM Belgium led to IBM responding with its own antivirus product development. Prior to this, antivirus solutions developed at IBM were intended for staff use only. October, the Jerusalem virus, part of the at that time unknown Sariv family, is detected in the city of Jerusalem. The virus destroys all executable files on infected machines upon every occurrence of Friday the 13th except Friday the 13th of November 1987 making its first trigger date May 13, 1988. Jerusalem caused a worldwide epidemic in 1988. November, the SCA virus, a boot sector virus for Amiga computers appear, immediately creating a pandemic virus writer storm. A short time later, SCA releases another, considerably more destructive virus, the Byte Bandit. December, Christmas Tree Exec was the first widely disruptive replicating network program, which paralyzed several international computer networks in December 1987. It was written in RexX on the VM, CMS operating system and originated in what was then West Germany. It re-emerged in 1990. 
1988 March 1, the ping pong virus, also called boot, bouncing ball, bouncing dot, Italian, Italian A or Veracruz, an MS DOS boot sector virus, is discovered at the University of Turin in Italy. June, the CyberAIDS and festering hate Apple Prodos viruses spreads from underground pirate BBS systems and starts infecting mainstream networks. Festering Hate was the last iteration of the CyberAIDS series extending back to 1985 and 1986. Unlike the few Apple viruses that had come before which were essentially annoying, but did no damage, the Festering Hate series of viruses was extremely destructive, spreading to all system files it could find on the host computer hard drive, floppy, and system memory and then destroying everything when it could no longer find any uninfected files. November 2, the Morris worm, created by Robert Tappan Morris, infects DEC VAX and Sun machines running BSD Unix that are connected to the Internet, and becomes the first worm to spread extensively in the wild, and one of the first well-known programs exploiting buffer overrun vulnerabilities. Topic 1989. October, Ghostball, the first multipartite virus, is discovered by Frerich Scullison. It infects both executable, COM files and boot sectors on MS-DOS systems. December, several thousand floppy disks containing the AIDS Trojan, the first known ransomware, are mailed to subscribers of PC Business World magazine and a WHO AIDS conference mailing list. This DOS Trojan lies dormant for 90 boot cycles, then encrypts all file names on the system, displaying a notice asking for $189 to be sent to a post office box in Panama in order to receive a decryption program. Topic 1990-1999. Topic 1990. Mark Washburn, working on an analysis of the Vienna and Cascade viruses with Ralph Berger, develops the first family of polymorphic viruses, the Chameleon family. Chameleon series debuted with the release of 1260. June, the form computer virus is isolated in Switzerland. It would remain in the wild for almost 20 years and reappear afterwards. During the 1990s, it tended to be the most common virus in the wild with 20 to more than 50% of reported infections. Topic 1992 March, the Michelangelo virus was expected to create a digital apocalypse on March 6, with millions of computers having their information wiped, according to mass media hysteria surrounding the virus. Later assessments of the damage showed the aftermath to be minimal. John McAfee had been quoted by the media as saying that 5 million computers would be affected. He later said that, pressed by the interviewer to come up with a number, he had estimated a range from 5,000 to 5 million, but the media naturally went with just the higher number. 1993 Leandro and Kelly and Freddy Krueger spread quickly due to popularity of BBS and shareware distribution. 1994 April, Onihalf is a DOS-based polymorphic computer virus. Topic 1995 The first macro virus, called Concept, is created. It attacked Microsoft Word documents. Topic 1996. Ply DOS 16-bit based complicated polymorphic virus appeared with built-in permutation engine. Boza, the first virus designed specifically for Windows 95 files, arrives. 
Laru, the first Excel macro virus appears. Stayog, the first Linux virus attacks Linux machines. Topic 1998. June 2nd, the first version of the CIH virus appears. It is the first known virus able to erase flash ROM BIOS content. Topic. 1999 January 20, the Happy 99 worm first appeared. It invisibly attaches itself to emails, displays fireworks to hide the changes being made, and wishes the user a Happy New Year. It modifies system files related to Outlook Express and Internet Explorer on Windows 95 and Windows 98. March 26, the Melissa Worm was released, targeting Microsoft Word and Outlook-based systems, and creating considerable network traffic. June 6, the Explorer Zip Worm, which destroys Microsoft Office documents, was first detected. December 30, the CAC Worm is a JavaScript computer worm that spread itself by exploiting a bug in Outlook Express. Topic 2000 to 2009. Topic 2000. May 5th, the ILOVEYOU worm, also known as Love Letter or VBS or Love Bug worm, is a computer worm purportedly created by a Filipino computer science student. Written in VB script, it infected millions of Windows computers worldwide within a few hours of its release. Using social engineering techniques, it is considered to be one of the most damaging worms ever. June 28, the Pikachu virus is believed to be the first computer virus geared at children. It contains the character, Pikachu, from the Pokémon series, and is in the form of an email titled, Pikachu Pokémon. With the message, Pikachu is your friend. The attachment to the email has an image of a pensive Pikachu, along with a message stating, Between millions of people around the world, I found you. Don't forget to remember this day every time, my friend. Along with the image, there is a program, written in Visual Basic 6, called PikachuPokemon.x. That modifies the AUTOEXEC bat file and adds a command for removing the contents of directories C Windows and C Windows system at computers restart. However, a message would appear during startup, asking the user if they would like to delete the contents of those folders. This is because the author, instead of writing the lines Del C Windows asterisk, asterisk, Y and Del C Windows system asterisk, asterisk, Y to AUTOEXEC, BAT, the author did not include the Y switches, which would have automatically chosen the Yes option. The operating systems affected by this worm are Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows ME. Topic 2001 February 11th, the Anna Kornikova virus hits email servers hard by sending email to contacts in the Microsoft Outlook address book. Its creator, Jan De Witt, was sentenced to 150 hours of community service. May 8, the SadMind worm spreads by exploiting holes in both Sun Solaris and Microsoft IIS. July, the Circam worm is released, spreading through Microsoft systems via email and unprotected network shares. July 13, the Code Red worm attacking the Index Server ISAPI extension in Microsoft Internet Information Services is released. August 4, a complete rewrite of the Code Red worm, Code Red 2 begins aggressively spreading onto Microsoft systems, primarily in China. September 18, the Nimda worm is discovered and spreads through a variety of means including vulnerabilities in Microsoft Windows and backdoors left by Code Red 2 and SadMind worm. October 26, the Klez worm is first identified. 
It exploits a vulnerability in Microsoft Internet Explorer and Microsoft Outlook and Outlook Express. Topic 2002. February 11, the Simli virus is a metamorphic computer virus written in assembly. Beast is a Windows-based backdoor Trojan horse, more commonly known as a rat remote administration tool. It is capable of infecting almost all versions of Windows. Written in Delphi and released first by its author Tatai in 2002, its most current version was released October 3, 2004. March 7, MyLife is a computer worm that spread itself by sending malicious emails to all the contacts in Microsoft Outlook. Topic 2003. January 24, the SQL Slammer Worm, aka Sapphire Worm, Hellkern, and other names, attacks vulnerabilities in Microsoft SQL Server and MSDE becomes the fastest spreading worm of all time, measured by doubling time at the peak rate of growth, causing massive internet access disruptions worldwide just 15 minutes after infecting its first victim. April 2, Greybird is a Trojan horse also known as Backdoor, Greybird. June 13, Parat is a Turkish-made Microsoft Windows-based Backdoor Trojan horse, more commonly known as a RAT remote administration tool. August 12, the Blaster Worm, aka the Loverson Worm, rapidly spreads by exploiting a vulnerability in system services present on Windows computers. August 18, the Welchia Nachi worm is discovered. The worm tries to remove the blaster worm and patch windows. August 19, the Sobig worm, technically the Sobig F worm, spreads rapidly through Microsoft systems via mail and network shares. September 18, Swen is a computer worm written in C++. October 24, the Sober Worm is first seen on Microsoft Systems and maintains its presence until 2005 with many new variants. The simultaneous attacks on network weak points by the Blaster and Sobig Worms cause massive damage. November 10, a GoBot is a computer worm that can spread itself by exploiting vulnerabilities on Microsoft Windows. Some of the vulnerabilities are MS-03-026 and MS-05-039. November 20, Bolgimo is a computer worm that spread itself by exploiting a buffer overflow vulnerability at Microsoft Windows DCOM RPC interface. 2004 January 18, Bagel is a mass mailing worm affecting all versions of Microsoft Windows. There were two variants of Bagel Worm, Bagel, A and Bagel, B. Bagel, B was discovered on February 17, 2004. Late January, the Mydoom Worm emerges, and currently holds the record for the fastest spreading mass mailer worm. The worm was most notable for performing a distributed denial of service DDoS attack on www.sco.com, which belonged to the SCO group. February 16, the NetSky worm is discovered. The worm spreads by email and by copying itself to folders on the local hard drive as well as on mapped network drives if available. Many variants of the NetSky worm appeared. March 19, the Witty Worm is a record-breaking worm in many regards. It exploited holes in several Internet Security Systems ISS products. It was the fastest disclosure to worm, it was the first Internet worm to carry a destructive payload and it spread rapidly using a pre-populated list of Ground Zero hosts. May 1, the Sasa worm emerges by exploiting a vulnerability in the Microsoft Windows LSASS service and causes problems in networks, while removing MyDoom and Bagel variants, even interrupting business. June 15, Karibe or Kabir is a computer worm that is designed to infect mobile phones that run Symbian OS. It is the first computer worm that can infect mobile phones. It spread itself through Bluetooth. More information can be found on F-Secure and Symantec. 
August 16, Nuclear Rat, short for Nuclear Remote Administration Tool, is a backdoor trojan that infects Windows NT family systems, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows 2003. August 20, Vundo, or the Vundo Trojan also known as Virtumond or Virtumondo and sometimes referred to as MS-WAN is a Trojan known to cause pop-ups and advertising for rogue anti-spyware programs, and sporadically other misbehavior including performance degradation and denial of service with some websites including Google and Facebook. October 12, Bifrost, also known as Bifros, is a backdoor Trojan which can infect Windows 95 through Vista. Bifrost uses the typical server, server builder, and client backdoor program configuration to allow a remote attack. December, Santee, the first known webworm, is launched. It exploited a vulnerability in PHPBB and used Google in order to find new targets. It infected around 40,000 sites before Google filtered the search query used by the worm, preventing it from spreading. Topic 2005 August 2005 Zotob October 2005 The copy protection rootkit deliberately and surreptitiously included on music CDs sold by Sony BMG is exposed. The rootkit creates vulnerabilities on affected computers, making them susceptible to infection by worms and viruses. Late 2005, the ZLOB Trojan, is a Trojan horse program that masquerades as a required video codec in the form of the Microsoft Windows ActiveX component. It was first detected in late 2005. <laughs> 2006 January 20, the Nixum worm was discovered. It spread by mass mailing. Its payload, which activates on the third of every month, starting on February 3, attempts to disable security-related and file-sharing software, and destroy files of certain types, such as Microsoft Office files. February 16, discovery of the first ever malware for Mac OS X, a low-threat Trojan horse known as OS X, Leap A or OS X, Oompa A, is announced. Late March, Brontoc variant N was found in late March. Brontoc was a mass email worm and the origin for the worm was from Indonesia. June, Starbucks is a virus that infects StarOffice and OpenOffice. Late September, Stration or Wears Off worm first discovered. <laughs> 2007. January 17, Stormworm identified as a fast-spreading email spamming threat to Microsoft systems. It begins gathering infected computers into the Storm botnet. By around June 30 it had infected 1.7 million computers, and it had compromised between 1 and 10 million computers by September. Thought to have originated from Russia, it disguises itself as a news email containing a film about bogus news stories asking you to download the attachment which it claims is a film. July, Zeus is a Trojan that targets Microsoft Windows to steal banking information by keystroke logging. 2008. February 17, Mockmex is a Trojan, which was found in a digital photo frame in February 2008. It was the first serious computer virus on a digital photo frame. The virus was traced back to a group in China. March 3, Torpig, also known as Sinol and Mebrut, is a Trojan horse that affects Windows, turning off antivirus applications. It allows others to access the computer, modifies data, steals confidential information such as user passwords and other sensitive data and installs more malware on the victim's computer. May 6, Rustock, C, a hitherto rumored spambot type malware with advanced rootkit capabilities, was announced to have been detected on Microsoft systems and analyzed, having been in the wild and undetected since October 2007 at the very least. 
July 6, Bomani A is a configurable remote access tool or Trojan that exploits security flaws in Adobe Flash 9.0.115 with Internet Explorer 7.0 and Firefox 2.0 under Windows XPSP 2. July 31, the Kubeface computer worm targets users of Facebook and MySpace. New variants constantly appear. November 21, Computer Worm Configure infects anywhere from 9 to 15 million Microsoft server systems running everything from Windows 2000 to the Windows 7 Beta. The French Navy, UK Ministry of Defence including Royal Navy warships and submarines, Sheffield Hospital Network, German Bundeswehr and Norwegian police were all affected. Microsoft sets a bounty of $250,000 for information leading to the capture of the worm's authors. Five main variants of the Conficker worm are known and have been dubbed Conficker A, B, C, D and E. They were discovered 21 November 2008, 29 December 2008, 20 February 2009, 4 March 2009 and 7 April 2009, respectively. On December 16, 2008, Microsoft releases KB958644 patching the server service vulnerability responsible for the spread of Configure. Topic 2009 July 4, the July 2009 cyber attacks occur and the emergence of the W-32, Dozer attack the United States and South Korea. July 15, Symantec discovered Daprosy Worm. Said Trojan Worm is intended to steal online game passwords in Internet cafes. It could, in fact, intercept all keystrokes and send them to its author which makes it potentially a very dangerous worm to infect B2B business -to -business systems. August 24 – Source code for Megapanzer is released by its author under GPL v3, and appears to have been apparently detected in the wild. 2010 present. Topic 2010 January, the Walladak botnet sent spam emails. In February 2010, an international group of security researchers and Microsoft took Walladak down. January, the PSYB0T worm is discovered. It is thought to be unique in that it can infect routers and high speed modems. February 18, Microsoft announced that a BSOD problem on some Windows machines, which was triggered by a batch of Patch Tuesday updates, was caused by the Allurian Trojan. June 17, Stuxnet, a Windows Trojan, was detected. It is the first worm to attack SCADA systems. There are suggestions that it was designed to target Iranian nuclear facilities. It uses a valid certificate from Realtek. September 9, the virus, called Here You Have, or VB Mania, is a simple Trojan horse that arrives in the inbox with the odd but suggestive subject line, Here You Have. The body reads, This is the document I told you about, you can find it here. Or, This is the free download sex movies, you can find it here. September 15, the virus called Kenzero is a virus that spreads online from peer-to-peer -peer sites taking browsing history. 2011 SpyEye and Zeus merged code is seen. New variants attack mobile phone banking information. Anti-spyware 2011, a Trojan horse that attacks Windows 9X, 2000, XP, Vista, and Windows 7, posing as an anti-spyware program. It actually disables security-related process of antivirus programs, while also blocking access to the Internet, which prevents updates. Summer 2011, the Mortu worm attempts to propagate itself to additional computers via the Microsoft Windows Remote Desktop Protocol RDP. 
MORTU spreads by forcing infected systems to scan for Windows servers allowing RDP login. Once MORTU finds an RDP accessible system, it attempts to log into a domain or local system account named administrator using a number of common passwords. A detailed overview of how the worm works, along with the password dictionary MORTU uses, was done by Imperva. July 13, the Zero Access Rootkit also known as Serefif or Max++ was discovered. September 1, Duke is a worm thought to be related to the Stuxnet worm. The Laboratory of Cryptography and System Security Lab of the Budapest University of Technology and Economics in Hungary discovered the threat, analyzed the malware, and wrote a 60-page report naming the threat Duke. Duke gets its name from the prefix tilde dq it gives to the names of files it creates topic 2012 may flame also known as flamer skywiper and skywiper a modular computer malware that attacks computers running microsoft windows used for targeted cyber espionage in middle eastern countries its discovery was announced on 28 May 2012 by Ma Center of Iranian National Computer Emergency Response Team CERT, Kaspersky Lab and Chrissy's Lab of the Budapest University of Technology and Economics. Chrissy's stated in their report that, "...Skywiper is certainly the most sophisticated malware we encountered during our practice, arguably, it is the most complex malware ever found." August 16, Shamoon is a computer virus designed to target computers running Microsoft Windows in the energy sector. Symantec, Kaspersky Lab, and Seculate announced its discovery on August 16, 2012. September 20, NGR Bot is a worm that uses the IRC network for file transfer, sending and receiving commands between zombie network machines and the attacker's IRC server, and monitoring and controlling network connectivity and intercept. It employs a user mode rootkit technique to hide and steal its victims' information. This family of bot is also designed to infect HTML pages with inline frames iframes, causing redirections, blocking victims from getting updates from security, anti-malware products, and killing those services. The bot is designed to connect via a predefined IRC channel and communicate with a remote botnet. 2013. September, the Cryptolocker Trojan horse is discovered. Cryptolocker encrypts the files on a user's hard drive, then prompts them to pay a ransom to the developer in order to receive the decryption key. In the following months, a number of copycat ransomware Trojans are also discovered. December, the Game Over Zeus Trojan is discovered. This type of virus steals one's login details on popular websites that involve monetary transactions. It works by detecting a login page, then proceeds to inject a malicious code into the page, keystroke logging the computer user's details. December, Linux, Darlos targets the Internet of Things and infects routers, security cameras, set-top boxes by exploiting a PHP vulnerability. <laughs> 2014. November, the Regen Trojan horse is discovered. Regen is a dropper that is primarily spread via spoofed web pages. Once downloaded, Regen quietly downloads extensions of itself, making it difficult to be detected via antivirus signatures. It is suspected to have been created by the United States and United Kingdom over a period of months or years, as a tool for espionage and mass surveillance. 2015 The BASHLITE malware is leaked leading to a massive spike in DDoS attacks. Linux, Wifatch is revealed to the general public. It is found to attempt to secure devices from other more malicious malware. 2016. 
January, a Trojan named MEMZ is created. The creator, Lurik, explained that the Trojan was intended merely as a joke. The Trojan alerts the user to the fact that it is a Trojan and warns them that if they proceed, the computer may no longer be usable. It contains complex payloads that corrupt the system, displaying artifacts on the screen as it runs. Once run, the application cannot be closed without causing further damage to the computer, which will stop functioning properly regardless. When the computer is restarted, in place of the boot splash is a message that reads, Your computer has been trashed by the MEMZ Trojan. Now enjoy the Nyan Cat, which follows with an animation of the Nyan Cat. February – Ransomware Loki with its over 60 derivatives spread throughout Europe and infected several million computers. At the height of the spread over 5,000 computers per hour were infected in Germany alone. Although ransomware was not a new thing at the time, insufficient cybersecurity as well as a lack of standards in IT was responsible for the high number of infections. Unfortunately even up-to-date antivirus and Internet security software was unable to protect systems from early versions of Loki. February – Tiny Banker Trojan Timber makes headlines. Since its discovery, it has been found to have infected more than two dozen major banking institutions in the United States, including TD Bank, Chase, HSBC, Wells Fargo, PNC and Bank of America. Tiny Banker Trojan uses HTTP injection to force the user's computer to believe that it is on the bank's website. This spoof page will look and function just as the real one. The user then enters their information to log on, at which point Tinber can launch the bank webpage's incorrect login information return, and redirect the user to the real website. This is to trick the user into thinking they had entered the wrong information and proceed as normal, although now Tinber has captured the credentials and sent them to its host. September, Mirai creates headlines by launching some of the most powerful and disruptive DDoS attacks seen to date by infecting the Internet of Things. Mirai ends up being used in the DDoS attack on 20 September 2016 on the Krebs on security site which reached 620 gigabits per second. ARS Technica also reported a 1 terabit per second attack on French web host OVH. On 21 October 2016 multiple major DDoS attacks in DNS services of DNS service provider DYN occurred using Mirai malware installed on a large number of IoT devices, resulting in the inaccessibility of several high-profile websites such as GitHub, Twitter, Reddit, Netflix, Airbnb and many others. The attribution of the attack to the Mirai botnet was originally reported by Backconnect Inc., a security firm. Topic 2017 May – The WannaCry ransomware attack spreads globally. Exploits revealed in the NSA hacking toolkit leak of late 2016 were used to enable the propagation of the malware. Shortly after the news of the infections broke online, a UK cybersecurity researcher in collaboration with others found and activated a kill switch hidden within the ransomware, effectively halting the initial wave of its global propagation. The next day, researchers announced that they had found new variants of the malware without the kill switch. June – The Petya malware attack spreads globally affecting Windows systems. Researchers at Symantec reveal that this ransomware uses the Eternal Blue exploit, similar to the one used in the WannaCry ransomware attack. September, the Zafecopy Trojan attacks 47 countries, affecting only Android operating systems. Kaspersky Lab identified it as a malware from the UBZD family, stealing money through click-based WAP billing systems. September, a new variety of remote access Trojan rat, Kedi rat, is distributed in a spear phishing campaign. The attack targeted Citrix users. The Trojan was able to evade usual system scanners. 
Keddie Trojan has all characteristics of a common remote access Trojan and it could communicate to its command and control center via Gmail using common HTML, HTTP protocols. See also Helpful worm Multipartite virus Timeline of computer security hacker history